What began as a blind date for Zahira Variawa and Andrew Marty turned out to be the beginning of something life-changing for both of them. She's South African, he's Australian, and they happened to meet at an Andrea Bocelli concert in Abu Dhabi. Soon their romance blossomed, and rather than having to choose between Australia or South Africa, they decided to have their nuptials in Dubai. We were invited to join their family and friends for a destination wedding on the shores of the Persian Gulf. Dubai has become the workplace and home of international brand manager Zahira Variawa. With her wedding day approaching, she was enjoying some me time on the beach. Andrew's proposal was really something out of a movie. Um, it was a surprise holiday to New York City, which is my favorite place in the world. He'd planned a rooftop in Manhattan with the New York skyline, um, and it was everything I'd ever wanted. It had the fairy lights. He'd done a video with our entire family singing to a song. He'd had a little book that he'd made with 50 things he loves about me, and it was like living in a cloud. One that we both didn't want to get off, but we had to come back to reality, but he'd honestly gone beyond any expectation I would have ever had. The wedding dress was created by designer Stephen Khalil to realize Zahira's personal vision. Zahira decided on a trumpet silhouette with an off-the-shoulder neckline. The detail that she wanted was embroidered with pearls and crystals, which is really gorgeous. And it's made from a silk crepe, which is a pale skin tone, just to bring out the detail and all the embroidery. The city skyline forms a man-made mountain range on the shores of Dubai Creek, which has become a playground for residents and visitors. It's also where you'll find the Dubai Golf and Yacht Club, with a 9 and 18 hole course. The male members of the wedding party were enjoying a last round with Andrew as a bachelor. So we're just here at the lovely Dubai Creek Golf Club, uh, blowing away the pre-wedding jitters with a nice game of golf. Everyone's absolutely loving Dubai, it's nice weather at the moment so everyone's enjoying it, flying up from Cape Town and Melbourne and uh, Sydney and Brisbane. I think at this stage the guys are having the most fun but the girls are out on a yacht today so I'm sure they'll enjoy that. It seemed that the golfing gods were not on the guy's side, but for Zahira and the girls it would be plain sailing all the way. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah, Thank you very much. Multi-million dollar yachts now ply the sleepy waters of the creek where dows once lay at anchor. So we're on the boat today for my bridal shower. Um, we have gone through weeks and weeks of planning. It's been a really exciting build-up. It's one of the few events that I didn't have 100% control of, which is always a little bit risky. Um, I've had incredible bridesmaids and they've put everything together exactly how I would have loved. I've got all my favorite friends, family that have flown in um, to Dubai from all around the world. Um, and it's just a good day for us girls to be in our swimmers, enjoy the sunshine um, and enjoy what Dubai has to offer. Naturally, the ring was a center of attention. This was also an opportunity for Zahira's extended family and friends to get to know each other. Thank you for today. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, such a pleasure. How are you enjoying it? Yeah, great. It's really lovely. Lisa's Andrew's sister and uh, my big sister too now. And she was part of the amazing team that put today's party together. And this is Mum. Mum, are you having a good day? Yes, I am. It's been perfect and I just hope the rest of the week goes the same. So the next crazy cat we're meeting is my cousin and maid of honor Z. Um, yeah, she's kept me going through the wedding stress and she's been a big part of today as well. Z, thank you. The boat's amazing. Thank you. It's very good to be here. We're very lucky because of the weather considering it's been raining these past couple of days. It's a great day, great fun, great weather. And I'm the best cousin in the world. Absolutely. She's the best. While the ladies succumbed to the temptation of cake smothered in icing aboard their floating pleasure palace, back on shore, it was a time of mixed emotions for Zahira's dad, as he looked back on how quickly his little girl has grown up. Zahira was an amazing child. Uh, she brought lots of joy to my life. Zahira as a, as a child that wants big things and has big dreams, and, and I don't believe that it could have been achieved in, in South Africa. And not to hold her back, as, I'm, as much as I loved her, and it was a painful task, to leave her, I had to let her go. The following day saw the families donning traditional costume. Today is the day of our nikah, which is the Islamic marriage ceremony. So technically we are officially married after today, although our wedding and reception is tomorrow. It is different doing it in a completely different country with a completely different type of leadership to the ceremony, which is quite new for all of us. The bridal parties, both groom side and bride side, are all dressed in Arabic clothing, which is really interesting. And I'm really looking forward to seeing all of them all dressed up. I think it'll make for um, 
diverse and interesting photographs. It's a cultural experience for my family especially as well because they haven't really experienced this side of thing before so that's quite exciting for all of us. It's a very simple ceremony, it's like minding man and wife. There's a lot of excitement you know with the two different cultures, the diversity, um, bringing the two together and I think people are really looking forward to seeing what's it all about and the traditional dress as well, the kanduras, the abayas. As outlined in the Holy Quran, the marriage contract is concluded between the guardian of the bride and the groom and both the bride and the groom must consent to the marriage of their own free will. Muhammad Religiously, Andrew and Zahira is now married. The Nick is done. Um, we're quite excited. It was quite different. Um, we both were a bit unsure about what to expect um, because we have created a bit of a hybrid situation um, with both families and culture, but it went off really smoothly. We we're super excited and um, I think really well. yeah, tomorrow is when all the, the dress up and, and the second part of the fun starts really, so I'm looking forward to that. The next day, the sun was still creeping over the waters of the Gulf when work began on preparing the beachfront venue. Zahira had also made an early start and was calming her inner butterflies by sticking to her strict fitness routine. The morning of the wedding, um, snacking to the gym for a quick 45 minute start to the day, which normally gets me calm, energized. The wedding dress is out, the shoes are out, and I'm looking forward to the day. With the major work completed and only a few hours to go, the finishing touches were being put in place under the watchful eye of wedding coordinator Felicity Stokes. My best part with um, this project for Zahira's wedding has to be um, from the very beginning. She just had a very great vision of what she wanted and through the whole process she knows exactly what she wants and she makes sure she gets there. If there's any tweaks, she's been really great along the way making these changes. So yeah, it's been great to work with her on, on her own wedding. There's the crystal um, stand. So if you don't like the flowers, just rip them off and just use the stand. Yeah, they're putting on the cigars, the name tag. For the hands-on approach to her brand management business, Zahira feels most comfortable when she's checklisting every detail. But this time she realized that sometimes you just have to step away and focus on other priorities. Well, looks like um, it's in capable hands. I'm going upstairs to get ready and I can't wait to come back down and see what it looks like. The public spaces of the venue offered an oasis of cool tranquility. But the kitchen was a study in quiet efficiency. So we have for a starter uh, burrata cheese with uh, organic uh, heirloom tomatoes. We have also balik salmon with uh, poached spear and uh, orange uh, jelly. As a main course, uh, it's a chicken parmigiano with uh, mashed potato. Also we have a lamb chop with oyster mushrooms and uh, spinach and garlic cream. The pastry chef had been working his magic with sugar. This is a carrot cake. It's been uh, glazed with uh, icing uh, fondant and uh, we make uh, like a uh, marble effect with some uh, gold uh, powder. She wanted a tower of macaron with uh, gold, white and uh, turquoise colors because it's the color of the wedding. You know? Everything was proceeding according to plan, but the groom did seem just a tiny bit nervous. All the boys came around this morning, we've been down the beach for a swim and a kick of the footy, uh, Aussie rules style. Um, then we've been back up here, all got dressed and ready to go and we're just about to head over to the, over to the hotel for the, uh, for the big moment. You're standing uh, next to him like that. Nice. Yes. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. Happy days, that's a wrap. We'll see you at the ceremony. Thanks, boys. As Andrew's dad, um, I'm enormously proud um, to see this day arrive and uh, certainly of his achievements. I think you always bring your children up to be independent, and by golly he is, and uh, coming over here and having a new life, I, I think that's really, really great. The early months of the year can be a rainy time in Dubai. But the weather was being cooperative and Zahira wouldn't have to worry about Drizzle spoiling her wedding or her makeup. For Zahira's big day, we've created something that is 
still natural but dramatic on the eyes. I work with Zahira a lot and we always do something that's more natural but obviously today is a special day so we've gone more glam and you know we've kept her bronzy look which is her natural look and also added pink highlights to you know have that blushing bride look going on today so it's very exciting. With the Dubai skyline creating a futuristic backdrop, the guests began to gather for the ceremony. Celebrate the exchange of vows of Andrew Charles Marty and Zahira Bariawa. We have grown as people and as a couple. Thank you for loving me with my imperfections and sharing your life with me. I'm very pleased to announce you husband and wife. <laughs> I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Marty. The beach offered a convenient but unconventional location for the formal wedding photographs. Watching Zahira walk down the aisle was probably the most uh, emotional moment of my life. It was uh, something I'll never forget, to be honest. Yeah, incredible. The nerves, um, yeah, probably the most nervous. I'm not often lost for words, but seeing him at the end of the aisle and yeah, I was, I was shaking for the first time ever. And Andrew will tell you this very few times I don't have words, I usually have too many, but um, it was incredible. It was everything that I think that we wanted it to be and yeah, we loved it. I was completely honoured to be his best man and uh, you know, it's just one of those sort of things that um, you know, a brother's love is a brother's love and uh, you know, nothing but love for him. From running to Australia to get her dress, um, running with Andrew to the tailor, making sure that the suit fits correctly, making sure that all the buttons are in place. It's uh, really been an amazing experience. At last, the formalities were over and everyone could relax and enjoy the wedding party in its spectacular Arabian location. For Mr. and Mrs. Marty, all that remained was to slice the cake, open the floor and enjoy a long and happy life together.